Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me tonight in our um, spring practice, our spring flow, but gentle. And uh, anyway, and now let's bring your hands to your heart. Taking a bow of the chin, honoring yourself. honoring your practice today. Very good. So go ahead and blink the eyes open and bring your fingertips down to the floor. Coming into a neck roll, we're going to draw the chin down, lengthen through the back of the neck, roll your ear over to the right, lift the chin slightly, and then roll your chin to your chest and now your left ear over to the left shoulder. Inhale deeply, lift the chin slightly, exhale, drop the chin to the collarbone and roll the chin to the sternum. And then ear to the opposite shoulder. Take a deep breath. As you exhale, release the chin down and roll the ear to the opposite shoulder. Good, couple more times, deep inhale. Exhale, release the chin down. Roll your ear to the opposite shoulder. Good, last time, dropping the chin down. Let the head hang and now roll the ear over to the left. Good, bringing the chin back to the center Good. So we're going to come into what's called the shield mutra. So we're just taking it, it doesn't really matter, right hand over left. So it's like you're crossing here at the arms. And so there's a word in yoga called satya, and it means, it translates to, to be, to be present and moving. All right, so here we go. We're going to take these, the shield and you're going to inhale, you're going to open the heart, open the chest, lift, and as you exhale, cross that, the arms into the shield and bow your chin. So inhale, open the arms, shoulder blades come together, and as you exhale, come into your shield mutra. And just two more times. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale and draw the hands into our shield. And last time, inhale, open the chest. And now this time taking, let's take the right arm over the left and give yourself a big hug. So really spread the fingers far apart. Draw the um, fingertips to the back. So pulling the flesh a little bit away, so separating the muscle from the um, shoulder blades. And just take another couple of breaths. Now you are wel welcome to stay here, or you can come into eagle pose. So we wrap the forearms and lift the elbows up. And I'll just do a little side profile here. So elbows coming up, nice 90 degree angle. And then if you like, you can draw the chin down, start to pull the elbows in, in towards the navel. So we're rounding the upper back, bring the elbows towards the belly, and just release your neck, your shoulders. Very good, one more full breath. And then we start to roll up, you know, stocking through the spine and then bringing the elbows back up into Eagle Pose. Good, then release your hands. Again, come into that really nice open heart, chest expansion. And now we're gonna take the left arm over the right. So opposite arm, and you're gonna give yourself again a hug. So spread the fingers, grab that flesh um, on the shoulder blades, lift the elbows. Just taking a couple of breaths, you're giving yourself a big hug. 
Good, one more inhalation. And as you exhale, coming into Eagle Pose. So wrapping the forearms, lifting the elbows slightly up. And when you're ready, you're gonna take a full deep breath, get really tall in your spine. As you exhale, you dive down. So the chin drops towards the chest, the elbows draw in towards the navel. And then we're rounding the back body. We're stretching through the traps. And you're drawing the belly in as you draw the elbows to that navel. We'll take another cleansing breath. Feeling a stretch all the way down the back. And now we're going to roll up. Start to bring the elbows, lifting them up. Very good. Into Eagle Pose, Garduasana. And then we release the arms, open the heart. One more time. Bring those arms back as far as you can. And now release your hands down to the floor. Good. So we're going to take that right leg out and draw your heel in towards your midline. So I am flexing my right foot. And we're going to do a, a side bend. We're still getting a great hamstring stretch and we're going to stretch through the torso. So you're going to take your right hand, slide it down and again grabbing anywhere that feels comfortable for you. Maybe it's going to be the outside of the foot or the ankle. The other way we can do this if you have a block, you can always just take a little bit of time taking the block on the outside of the knee. So I have it just behind the knee. I can take my strap. This is a great way to do this stretch. And you wanna hold the strap with the palm coming up and you're gonna choke up, really flex that foot. And so now you're leaning in. You're leaning in and you should feel a slight stretch here through the side of your torso. But we'll take our left thumb to our shoulder Draw that shoulder back and then bow and arrow it by reaching back as far as you can. Take an inhale, rotate the palm up. As you exhale, float the arm up and over into our side bend. Nice, and just pause here, taking a few rounds of breath. Really, when you breathe into the lower lobes of the lungs, really expand through the rib cage. And you'll take another cleansing breath. And as you exhale out, let's float the arm back up. Come to the center, taking, if you have the strap, go ahead and move the strap. But we're going to move into a gentle twist. So we're, I'm taking my right hand out on my left knee, and my left hand is going behind my hip. So I'm going to inhale to grow tall. Exhale, gently rotate. So deep breath in, lengthen through your spine, exhale, and small twist. Now you can take a bend of, of the right elbow and take another full breath. And as you exhale out, go ahead and slowly unwind and bring your right shin in front of your left. Good, sitting up tall. We'll come into a gentle forward fold. So taking and cupping your hands, take your fingertips to the floor right in front of the shin, but lengthen up through the top of the head, the crown of the head, and walk your fingertips forward. And we're not gonna go into a deep forward fold. We just want a, a slight forward fold where your spine is still really long and straight. Good, take three more breaths. You can take your gaze down to the floor. Nice, and take another inhalation. As you exhale, walk your fingertips back to the shin. And now we'll take the opposite foot out. So here we can, again, we can, if you don't have a block or a strap, you're just going to send that hand down the outside of the leg, grabbing the ankle or the outside of the foot. Otherwise, if you have a couple of props, you can 
You can use both or just one, taking your block. You can rest your forearm on that block. Right? You can take the strap around the foot, and I'm holding the strap with um, my hands, so my palm is facing up. Very good. And then we're going to take our thumb, our right thumb, to the shoulder. Take the shoulder slightly back. Inhale, reach behind you. Rotate the palm up. Take a full deep breath in, and as you exhale out, moving into our side stretch. And just allow your body to soften. Relax your sit bones down. And if you like, you can even close your eyes and feel the breath passing in and out through your nose. I'm taking one more cleansing breath. Very good. You're going to bring the arm all the way back up. Come back to center. We'll let go of our strap, but now coming into a twist. So I'm going to take my left hand on the outside of my right knee and then bring the, the I'm sorry, my left hand to the outside of the right knee and the right hand behind my hip. So I'm going to inhale to lengthen, exhale gent, gentle rotation, so twisting. Inhale and grow tall. As you exhale, wringing out the internal organs. And just one more time, deep inhale. Exhale, gently rotate. Now one more full cleansing breath. And now we'll slowly come out of our twist. We're going to take that left heel and draw it back in. We'll come into that gentle forward fold again and that will help us stretch the opposite hip. That's our intention. So cupping the fingers again to the floor. Inhale, grow tall and lengthen. As you exhale, you walk your fingertips just gently out and not too far. Some of you may choose to bend the elbows and come slightly forward. Sometimes we may have more uh, mobility in one hip than the other and, and that will uh, really change uh, your range of motion, your forward fold. So just take in about two more breaths. Nice job, and then slowly coming all the way back up. Perfect, so we're gonna come into kneeling So here, uh, go ahead and take your blanket out. And we're going to take our um, hands underneath our, our wrist, underneath our shoulder. Spread the fingers real wide like a starfish. And let's go ahead and curl the toes under. Let's take a deep inhale. And as you exhale, go ahead and round the back into your cat stretch. Then roll through your spine, inhale, lifting your sternum, your tail, and looking slightly forward. Good. Exhale, push the floor away, rounding the spine, pulling the belly in, opening up your shoulder blades. And then inhale, articulate through the spine, lifting your heart, lifting your tail. And just one more time. Exhale, pushing the floor away, tucking the chin in. Dropping that tailbone down and pulling the navel in. And now inhale, coming all the way up. Very good. So now we're going to send our right leg behind us. Let's go ahead and flex that right foot. Really press back into the heel. Now we're going to bend that right knee and the foot. So we'll come into a sunbird. So we're going to lift the chest, press the foot up, and then we round and we bring the nose towards the knee and we kick the foot up and lift our heart. And then we round, pull the belly in, inhale and kick up. Good. Exhale and round. Inhale, press up. Just a couple more times. Tuck in and round. Inhale, lift that foot. 
and last time nose towards the knee and kick up that foot very good so send the foot straight out ground the foot to the mat now we're going to walk the hands around to the side of your mat so here your right foot is out okay and we're going to come into puppy dog pose now you can grab your block if you wish bring it right in front of your mat bring your forearms down and maybe hands to prayer if this feels good to you and you're you're fine you can bring your elbows to your mat and maybe your thumbs to your third eye so our puppy dog pose it's just a variation of puppy dog with our leg extended so we'll take three more breaths good take another inhale as you exhale go ahead and bring your hands up and now we're going to walk our hands towards our knees and coming into gate pose so we're going to inhale circle your arms up hold right here over the crown of your head and now release your right hand down to the outside of your thigh and slowly reach up and over so here we come into our side bend one more time take a couple of rounds of breath draw the belly in and come back to your center but now come into a modified plank bringing your left hand to the floor and reaching your right arm up good now if you like you can start to move that shoulder back open the chest up towards the sky and if you like a little more uh, work or building muscle here you're going to lift the leg up good so our modified side plank pose you can bend the knee again and grab that foot drawing the heel towards your buttocks so we're pushing the heel away from the hip and opening the shoulder and the chest take another full breath now release your hand and your foot out good drop the foot down and lift your torso up great so we're going to bring the hands back down to the floor and now we're going to thread the needle so I'm going to take my left hand reach it up so left hand is going to dive through and it's going to reach for that right foot so I'm coming down all the way to the side of my face I'm going to bring this shoulder slightly back and take three more breaths Just really separating those shoulder blades. Good. One more cleansing breath. Now you're going to push your right hand into the floor. Lift your torso up and bring both hands to the mat. So now we're we'll going to come back and we're going to slide that knee back into a table position. So come back to your table position but this time we're going to go ahead and slide the left foot out and straighten out the left leg so we're going to do everything on the right, left side now so you're going to lift that leg up bend the knee flex the foot coming into our sunbird you're going to round the spine like the cat nose towards the knee and flex the foot and lift your heart and foot up so round the spine nose towards the knee and then kick that foot up lift your chest four more rounding the spine nose to knee and kick and lift your heart good nose towards the knee good kick the foot up last two rounding the spine nose to knee kick the foot up and one more time nose to knee and now kick the foot up good now you're going to take that foot out to the side so what it will look like it'll be off to the side and it's even to your hip so 
you know, we were in table, so that leg is out. And so we're going to um, come into puppy dog pose. So we're still getting a really nice inner thigh stretch. So you can bring your forearms to the floor. Interlock your fingers if you wish, or thumbs, hands in prayer, and thumbs to the third eye. Really ground that foot to the outer edge of the mat, taking three more breaths. Nice job, then we're gonna come back up. Good, and from here, we're gonna walk the hands up and bring our hands to our hip crease. So we'll come into our gate pose. Inhale, float your arms up. As you exhale, drawing the left arm down the outside of the thigh and sliding that arm just a bit down, not too much. We're opening up the right rib cage and taking a few rounds of breath. Then draw the belly strongly in and come back up to your center, bringing that right hand now down to the mat and reaching the opposite arm up. Good, so you can open the shoulder and the chest and maybe take your gaze slightly up. You can keep your foot grounded to the mat or if you want some extra strength in the hip and leg, you can lift the leg up. Very nice. Feeling the, uh, the gluteus, right? The buttocks kind of strengthening, the outer hip strengthening. Now you bend the knee as you reach back, grabbing the foot and kicking the heel away from the buttocks. So we can open the shoulder, the chest towards the sky. And we'll take another inhalation. And as you exhale, go ahead and release the foot, reach the arm back up. Very good. Bringing that foot down and coming all the way back to the center. Now we'll do one more pose here while we're kneeling and then we'll be all done. You're going to thread the needle. So now we're going to take that right arm up and you're going to dive it through. So it's going to go through and you're going to reach, it's like you're going to reach out for your toes. All right, come down to the side of your face. Roll that shoulder back so the shoulders can somewhat stack. And we'll take a few more rounds of breath. Very good. One more inhalation. And now as you exhale, you're going to push your hand into the floor lift your torso back up good so we're going to come back and walk the hands around coming into the length of our mat curling your toes under and bring your feet forward good so we're going to roll down all the way to the floor feet in front of those hips let's go ahead and roll all the way down onto our back. Good. So I'm um, from here. Good. So let's reverse that bridge by hugging your knees into your chest and gently rocking side to side, hip to hip. Very nice. All right. So bringing the knees back to the center, let's keep the right knee hugged in and send the left leg across your mat. Good, bring the knee in towards the, um, the chest. So either you can pull it a little bit towards your armpit or some of you may choose to bring the knee more to the center line and draw it towards the sternum. And they both may feel slightly different. Go ahead and flex your right foot. 
And now let's come into our um, knee down twist. So taking the left hand on the outside of your right knee and gently rolling up and over onto that hip. Reach the right arm across the floor. Good, and anchor that right shoulder blade to the mat. Take about three more breaths. Then when you're ready, you're gonna roll onto your back. Come into this upside down four. And let's wrap our hand around the shin or the hamstring. Flex your right foot. And close your eyes. And just coming back to the, the feeling of the breath passing in and out through your nose. And we'll take one more cleansing breath. Go ahead and release both feet down to the mat. Let's take that left knee into your chest and hug in. Draw the right leg across the mat. Good, flex your left foot and see if we can bring the knee a little closer to the center of the body. Or if some of you like, you may want to move it more to the armpit. Try both and see which one feels the best to you. And we'll just take one more breath. Coming into our twist. Take the right hand on the outside of the left thigh and roll that knee up and over into a twist. Reach the left arm across the floor. Opening the chest towards the sky. Getting this lovely twist, bringing it out through again, that detox of the internal organs. And we'll take one more inhalation. And as you exhale, we roll onto our back, moving into our upside down four. So we can take that knee, bring it in towards your chest, maybe wrapping the hands around the shin, or maybe just the hamstring. Sometimes if the hand is around the hamstring, you can bring the left elbow, and I'm just gently drawing that elbow into my left inner thigh and gently drawing the left knee away. Take three more breaths. Very good. One more cleansing breath. Then releasing both feet down to the mat Let's come into a, a short Shavasana. So sending the legs out, letting the feet and the knees roll open. And then some of you may choose to take your blanket, <laughs> wherever it, it may be. And sometimes it's just nice to have that blanket behind your head, your neck. Let the arms rest out to your side, palms are facing up. Then allow yourself to just melt into the mat. And feel the steady flow of your breath moving in and out of the body. Allowing yourself to let go of the day. Let go of any worries. Let go of any stress. And allowing yourself to feel present and grounded to the earth.
and in our mind we can visualize ourselves in maybe one of those beautiful fields or on the mountains and maybe just noticing all of those beautiful spring flowers. Maybe the joy that they give you. And feeling that blessing. Knowing that blessing. And we'll just take a couple more breaths. And then feeling just you know, you know, a small movement of the toes and the fingers. And you draw one knee at a time, taking your time to hug in, hug your knees in towards your chest gently rolling off to the right hip and shoulder into that fetal or embryo position. Take another full breath and now move, use your hand to push up. Bringing your hands to your heart and bowing your chin. The light in me salutes that light in you. And together we say, Namaste. Thank you so much, you guys, for joining me tonight in our um, spring practice, our spring flow, but gentle. And uh, anyway.